Hey guys, it is Roblox Zeus here, and today we're taking a look at Roblox turns the internet on fire. But before we dive right into today's video, I do want you to know we're gonna be doing videos just like this all the time. And if you're interested in it, click that like button and subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified of every single upload. We're gonna be doing constant videos and you don't wanna miss them. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right into the fire that Roblox caused. Thank Here's what has changed and is okay and dandy. Giving away gift cards are now on roblox we all know that roblox likes to just kind of play with fire a lot and roblox although is a good platform it also has its qualms a lot of the time roblox likes to update things when they don't need to and well the terms of service was fine as is although there were a lot of issues with some certain games on roblox that they wanted to touch up on they decided that they wanted to just tweak the tier OS a little bit you know it's fine right well unfortunately their tweaking went into more of let's change the entire terms of service to be detected but I mean it's now removed from the Roblox rules entirely and with VPN it will be eliminated and whenever they were finished and they released it out of the blue yes keep in mind this was not even scheduled they just did it out of the blue and no one even knew this was gonna happen and it just turned the internet on fire i mean literally people on twitter instagram everywhere you can think of were talking about this celebrities were talking about this youtubers outside of the roblox community were talking about this i mean people that are like tens of millions of subscribers that don't even play roblox talked about it i think even Logan Paul himself mentioned it. That you know you turn the internet on fire when people outside of your own community are talking about it. Real world tragedy, but it I got a baseball bat. Does that mean I can kill? commentary youtubers outside of roblox or talking about this they literally decided that it was a great idea to turn the terms of service into a complete mess now what they did was they essentially started doing a lot of specifics and they didn't really clarify anything which is i think why this is a massive problem now if you guys don't know the terms of service essentially went from okay to you can't hold hands you can't use a vpn and you can't scream or or you'll get banned y yeah literally you can get banned for holding hands it was ridiculous reading throughout these entire terms of service was insane I mean yeah I guess it's good that people did read the terms of service for once in their life but besides the point it's mainly because it was an entire meme it's something you never actually usually read when you agree to something but you know youtubers like quackity were literally going ahead and speed running Roblox to hit the ban youtubers were coming out the woodworks doing memes on it including quackity who decided it was a great idea to speed run the game to see if he could get banned the fastest although unfortunately i hate to say it but quackity you weren't the first one to try that actually this guy does minecraft years ago actually did a speed run on that besides the point it's actually quite of hilarious to see how of a fire that roblox has done on the internet i mean i haven't seen something like this blown up th this portion in a while especially in the roblox community i mean the last thing i could think of that really expanded outside of the roblox community was piggy itself i mean just it's crazy how fast things have gone <gasps> no oh I there's also some now you may be asking okay well did they at least take out the fire did they at least put out the fire did they at least fix the terms of service and yes they did and we will do a little bit more of an in detailed video on that a little bit later so do check that out when it comes out but yes they did go ahead and update the terms of service they did fix up a few of the things in nature and helped make it a lot better thankfully roblox did that because to be honest with you it's just a mess i mean just think about that this entire thing has been in a mess and most companies would probably not even really worry about it or focus on it because why would they they're just making money and they just got their platform blown up again so obviously they are really knowing what they knew and i'm glad to know that roblox did a quick time on this one and fixed it pretty quickly i mean they really messed up on it pretty badly it's just kind of crazy honestly the encouragement of real world activities that specifically create extreme 
But hey, that is our video on Roblox turning the entire internet on fire. Man, was this insane. I haven't seen something like this in a while. And honestly, this has been a pretty interesting topic for sure. I didn't think Roblox would ever mess up this hardcore in a while. So it's pretty interesting to see that. But I mean, hey, we're all human and things just happen. But I mean, let's be real here. I think Roblox might need to fix their uh, wording on things a little bit better or have someone kind of look over it first before they do things because they are going to really need it but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did consider the like button and subscribe button so we can post more videos for you anyways we'll see you in the next one peace